What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dave B. You watch the Dave B on TV where we go beyond that everyday bullshit that people be consuming on a day to day basis. And today, we're going to talk about a little astrology real quick. Just real quick, you know what I'm saying? We got the sun in Capricorn, moon in Libra. So, off the bat, you know, we're dealing with a situation where, in some way, we're either we're organizing our status and um, relating our status in some way. Or we are um, uh, communicating about our status in some way. You know what I'm saying? Because we got the sun in, like I said, sun in Capricorn, which has got us focused on status, uh, initiating, creating new ways of of thinking and being practical. Uh, And we also have uh, the moon in Libra. So the moon in Libra is us reacting and responding to... um, Initiating and creating new ways of thinking and communicating. So off the bat, you know, we're dealing with a lot of uh, good energy for, you know, business in general. You know what I'm saying? Like the power of Libra. Libra is really uh, powerful because, you know, it's about uh, harmony, being harmonious and things of that nature. But see, you know, the, the powerful thing about Libra, Libra is great at networking. You know what I'm saying? Networking and um basically coming up with new ideas to collaborate you know what i'm saying libra is the great collaborator you know what i'm saying the seventh house energy the the ability to relate to another individual and come together and make something that's that's even greater than if both parties was trying to do something on some solo shit so you know on, on one end you know this is a learning process you know but once you learn how to relate your status you can you you really can take over as far as business goes as well you know what i'm saying like Knowing how to relate your status will allow you to um, open the right doors and and, and, and and touch the right hands, you know what I'm saying? And now, you know, you can really have access to the teamwork, makes the dream work aspects of, of life and business, um, you know what I'm saying? Other than if you didn't know how to relate your status, you're on a negative end, and now you become, um, you know, maybe too snobby or maybe you become airheaded and, you know, loose lips. You know what I'm saying? You, you're you not communicating about your status in the right way. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's a square, so it's a it's a learning process. We're going to have to learn through this. You might not have access to these energies off the bat. You know what I'm saying? We all have access to these energies, but based upon your alignment, you may not quite understand how to get with it, or it might not feel as comfortable to you, uh, especially if you are a water or um, a fire sign. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, but off the bat, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, you know, even though, you know, you got to keep in mind, like it's not even the new year for real. Like, so kind of how I'm seeing things right now is like, you know, like I said, it's organizing our status in some way or, you know, uh, organizing is not like the word I was actually looking for. It's another word, but it's like, it's, it's basically, it's like uh, preparation time. Like, you know, since, um, this whole year, you know what I'm saying? Like when we talk about what 2020 was, 2020 was like a preparation time. And so now, even though, like I said, it's 2021, but, um, that's, that's Gregorian, uh, calendar shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the real new year don't start till March. So, you know, we still at, like, we at the tail end, um, like in the death period of, the actual, the actual, uh, year, you know what I'm saying? We, we still in Capricorn season, so we still got Aquarius and then we got Pisces before we cap it off right now. You know, Capricorn is, is, is the, I feel like it's the great, uh, preparation. You know what I'm saying? We trying to organize things right now. You know, everything is kind of in chaos and up in the air right now. So, you know, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you want to pay attention to who you relating to and you want to make sure that like, you know, it's not dealing with Aquarius yet. Aquarius is more about your associations, you know what I'm saying, and, and who you're associated with. But this is about who you're relating to. Who's kind of, who, who who are the people in your corner that you are one-on-one communicating with? And are these people actually for you? Um, it's about organizing this right now. You want to make sure that you're not relating to the wrong things. You want to make sure, you know what I'm saying, because Libra still deals with uh, Venus. It's the daytime of Venus. And so, you know, you're still dealing with a great deal of uh, relation, like, you know, relations and uh, valuing. 
You know what I'm saying? So you want to make sure you're paying attention to who you're valuing, what you're valuing, and make sure you're not wasting your time. You know what I'm saying? Capricorn got us focused on status. So, you know, this is kind of a dry time, but it's a time to get your shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk, like, as we move closer to March, you know what I'm saying? Then we're going to start seeing things really change. Right now, you know, things are changing, but we still got enough time where we can uh, kind of reconvene and, 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 and reformat and restructure, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, organize, you know, organizing is kind of like the key word right now. So you want to make sure that you're organizing your, your relations, not your associations yet, but your relations, what you're relating to. And, um, you know, not get too lost in the sauce when it comes to that. But, you know, uh, uh, I'm telling you right now, a couple good moves now is going to save you a lot of work later. You know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. And, um, you know, Libra, Saturn is exalted in Libra as well. So, you know, like, th there's a lot of Saturn energy going on. So, you know, you want to use this to your advantage to make sure that you can start formatting um format in your next life you know what i'm saying the life you want to live you know like i said it's it's kind of a free-for-all now where look the ball is in our court like we can really make we have to make our next reality like you know what i'm saying like i don't know how to express that enough but it's like we have that power right now where it's it's time for us to really take advantage of the energies that's going on in the world and use them to our advantage. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, like organizing your relations, you could figure out a good way to collaborate with another individual who might have something that could add to the table. You know what I'm saying? And in all this, you know, practical energy and this logical energy makes it a real good time to, um, you know, just kind of strategize as well. You know what I'm saying? Good time for strategy, especially as uh, Mars creeps closer into Taurus, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be big for strategy. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a big time for strategy. Mars is going to force us to kind of slow down and, and, and see the reality or the practicality out of our passions and things of that nature. So, you know, this is this. this it's, it, it might feel uncomfortable because Mars doesn't really fuck with um, Taurus. But at the same time, you know, we can use all these energies to our, our advantage. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Manifest what we want to manifest out of it. You know what I'm saying? And that's you know, if you still on the fence of uh, astrology, you're not sure, like, oh, is this shit real? Look, this shit is very real. You know what I'm saying? This shit is very real. And once you kind of get the hang of what's going on in the sky, you can organize your life better. And then, you know what I'm saying? You can you can utilize your energies in a, a more effective way. You know, we all have access to these, whether you know about what's going on in the stars or not. But, you know, right now it comes down to awareness. And, you know, the more aware you are of your tools, the more... Uh, abilities you have access to, you know what I'm saying, the more behind the scenes shit you know how to do, just because you know where the energies is at, when you don't know where the energies is at, you kind of just taking a shot in the dark, you might be right, you might be wrong, you know, but at least if you know where the energies is at, you can, uh, you know, keep keep on the, the flow, you know what I'm saying, you can keep the flow going, you know what I'm saying, without much hassle, you know, and that's just real, so, um, and like, you know, like we always say, man, we, we not doing astrology, we doing life right now, so, you know, yeah, it might sound all funny and shit like that, but this is real life. Niggas think we playing chess. Hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So anyway, much love, man. And like I said, this is a quick little astrology video. So, you know, make sure you are being realistic about, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to your actions and shit like that, make sure you're being realistic. Make sure you're taking the time to put the work in and make sure you're not overreacting to your status, but you do want to react and respond to um, who you can relate to who you can't relate to, you want to pay attention and, and kind of just see the signs in between. And then you also, you know, all of our minds is going to be kind of in a, a more relatable space. Uh, but don't get too relatable. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell too many people about your status. You know, like I said, you want to make sure it's the right people you relating to. Um, but you do want to, you know, use this to your advantage. You know what I'm saying? You might been wanting to communicate to another individual. You might have had ideas of how y'all can, you know, work together and, and build something cool. You know what I'm saying? But in, and now might be the time to actually go for it. Or if you've been trying to get yourself into a new position, you know what I'm saying? As far as your status goes or your business and career, you know, now might be a good time to um, 
you know, make those connections and talk to those people in those positions that you want to get into. And, you know, you this could possibly be your, your day to slide your way into a new opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though it's a square, you know, this learning process, once we, once we learn what we need to learn between the, you know what I'm saying, between Capricorn and Libra energy. Um, and like you already know, like it's, it's, it's thinking and being practical versus um, thinking and communicating. So, you know, even though it's a square, it's, it's a it's a square but on the yin, on the yang side you know what i'm saying so like you know um uh, earth being the 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 yin of the yang right so the internal thoughts and practicality of things and libra being the outward communication of things you know what i'm saying so you know like i said strategy you know what i'm saying you want to make connections today and yeah you know what i'm saying we're gonna get this shit right so peace out much love